had then there. We enjoyed the we enjoyed the six hitting competition out there. Can we can we take it from that that, that Ray Han has responded well to his call up? Oh, yeah, we um no last training session of a long tour. Um just tried to change up a bit this morning and get the uh well, uh, good vibes going, I guess. And then Rehab was happy. He was, he was the winner. He was, yes. Um, he wasn't odds-on favourite, um, but he was happy to walk away with the trophy. We, we talked a little bit about the game here a couple of years ago, and, and I guess the way that the manufactured result got over the line in, in tricky conditions. Sort of, the, if you could reflect a bit on what that result and that match sort of meant to you as a team and everything, it was. I don't know, one of the high points really of, of your captaincy in the way that you went out and attacked the game? Um, yeah, well, look, was, um, when it came to, you know, declaring on that fourth day, um, you know, it was obviously in mind to, you know, like dangle a carrot because obviously it was a very chaseable um, score on that wicket. Um, but yeah, we felt like we could, you know, manufacture a few things and and create 10 chances, which we managed to do, albeit very late on in the, on day five. But um, yeah, it was a great day, great win. Um, who knows how it's going to play out this week, um, but hopefully we can get the result that we want. And obviously, maybe slightly different conditions, but, but does, does there any, is there any relevance to that game a couple of years ago in the terms of when this game reaches its end point, you might be willing to do something similar, you know, make that old gamp again if you need to? Yeah. And in terms of the spinners are they, are they, obviously the pitch has is, is been prepared to try and get the ball going as the game progresses are your I don't know I guess you, you're quite prepared to fight fire with fire and back your three what back my spinners in terms of getting the most out of that pitch oh right yeah I'd certainly hope that I'll be back in the three spinners that I've picked um, but yeah look we it's <sighs> Who knows what's going to happen? It looks a very good wicket at the moment. Um, with some cricket on it, it might change. Um, but look, we've obviously taken a, a read off the wicket as much as we possibly can, and we feel the longer it goes, the more the spin is going to come into play. And as I said uh, yesterday, that obviously with the square being the way that it is, you know, very lush and green, it's going to be hard to manufacture any reverse swing. So the longer the game goes on, you think the um, the more spin is going to come into it. Any more from the UK? Yes, definitely from the Italy. Just wondered if you'd like to comment on the quality of Paul Collingwood's throwing. It looked like you might have got the rough end of the stick. Yeah. Six he was great until it was me being the coach. I said to him, I know the coach has got more seniority, but um, yeah. Two from O against Baz with the old six hitting comp. Um, but I keep reminding him that I've got him out. So that's all right. Like Baz has beaten you twice now. I just wonder if you're going to consider your future as a, as a six hitter. Uh, no, definitely not. Um, they keep getting that tally higher and higher and further and further past Baz. <laughs> we'll go around the here and then we'll take two more here. Go ahead. Afternoon Stokesy, this is Bayram Kazi from Pro Sports. So I wanted to talk specifically about the sweep shot because in the last test, 25% of England shots were sweeps and we've seen a similar game plan in India as well. Given that you suspect that this surface will start to turn eventually, will we see a similar sort of approach from England? Uh, probably from Ben Duckett, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, um, starting the third test match, but your practice seems like a T20 match. Are you going? Sorry, the wicket, did you say? <laughs> your practice oh, right. looks like uh, a T20 match. What is the reason behind you are preparing uh, your stuff as a, a hard hitting? match uh, will be seen later on uh, is that from the thing we did before training yeah. no as i said that was just the last training session just tried to change a few things up and um yeah just change it up it's been a it's been a long tour um sort of groundhog day over and over again cricket ground hotel cricket ground hotel so um yeah we just tried to change the start of training up as it was our last one and um yeah, go into the to a proper training session with the head switched on. Thank you very much. This is Asghar Ali Mubarak, Daily Mail, Islamabad. Sir, you played a very well in first test and scored 800 plus. Are you thinking like this paradise wicket PD again? You repeat that performance. Sorry, could you ask that again? The PD pitch is look like a paradise for the better and uh, English players prove 
in first test at Multan played uh, 100, 800 plus it. And you repeat again that kind of performance here? Uh, sorry, I'd, I'm not, I don't really understand the question. Sorry. Sir, right. English player played very well in first test match and they scored more than 800 in their, in, and they won the match. And you look the pitch, very close pinty pitch, and oh, it yeah. will look like a paradise for the better. Are you, English team, are thinking to repeat that performance again here? That would be very nice if we got 800 on any wicket, but um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what the wicket offers to the bowlers and then uh, assess how we take the game on from there. Sorry about that. Um, hi, hi Ben. You, you mentioned it's been a long tour, but England are, are back here in February for the, the Champions Trophy. I just wondered if you had an idea yet whether you might be part of those white ball plans come next year. Right. We'll wait till February.